Yeah, I uh, probably wonder what I'm working on, don't you? Uh, well, you can see that the cylinder bores look good. 40 thousandths oversize. Yeah, that's what I'm working on today. I drove it last night and I really wasn't too happy with how it ran. It still had a miss in it. And it would idle smooth, but it would have a miss when you took off from a dead stop. So I thought I would go ahead and investigate. I pulled the head off of it. And... Right there. Uh, I don't know how well the camera will show it, but it's got a burnt valve. Well, yeah, it's a burnt valve. Uh, uh, right along there. Possibly around this other side, too. But that is the problem. That's been the problem the whole time. I knew that it was getting where it wasn't running quite right. It had a bad idle to it for a long time. And then it just got to where it was just getting hard to start. It would shake real hard. It just had a bad torsional to it, it seemed like. And I checked the spark plug and this plug was bad. And I went ahead and tuned it up and all that other stuff you saw me put on previously. That was all bad. Which probably helped. Yeah. It's bad ignition components will cause this too, but the other cylinders look good. But that was the one that wasn't contributing. This is cylinder number six. I pulled the plug and grounded it yesterday and started, and the miss was in the same spot. So that was an indication that that was a miss right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull the valve out of it and we'll have a look at it. And just a quick way, uh, I don't know if anyone has ever seen anyone do this. This is how you wet check the heads. And of course you see number six right here. It is not holding water. Let me fill it back up. And you can watch it. See, so you can actually watch it run down. And while these are still holding the same amount of water that you pour in. There's also another way you do it, uh, where you fill them like this and you get a piece of uh, plexiglass and lay on them and, and kind of compress it. Uh, you do that, you see that a lot of that in performance uh, modifications. Uh, but we see that this here is the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the, I'm gonna go ahead and take the valve out of it. Uh, probably do a replacement, lap it in. Uh, after that, all the other valves look, look like they're in good shape. Uh, the head gasket was in good shape. Uh, there's no evidence of leaks. It had sealed. Just perfect. This is a Felpro gasket. And really all I need is a set of exhaust manifold gaskets and... A head gasket it's a dry intake it doesn't need intake gaskets it has a special pan that it uses uh, I'll get a set of carburetor gaskets and an oil change after that it should be good to go it should be road ready again uh, it might be a little while before I get on to it but anyways thanks for watching and you can see the valve seat it's not bad uh, it just needs to be lapped. I think a new valve, I can lap it in. I think it should seal. I think it'll run again and be okay. And here's the old valve. Yeah, it's kind of rough. But it couldn't hold compression any longer. And I'm thinking, when I rebuilt these, I didn't put any guides or anything. I just replaced the seals and uh, lapped the valves. But I think... When I worked on this once before, I think that was the one I actually, because I was kind of questioning myself about putting or, or replacing. Uh, and I think I, I ended up keeping it anyway. But anyways, it's going to have to have a new valve put in it. 
And that one, I can lap it, it'll be okay. So, it'll be running again shortly. Thanks for watching.